Okay, guys, this is the second question from the makeup, uh, midterm makeup exam. Uh, it's the multi-stage decision tree question that I, unfortunately, nobody solved correctly, even though I actually gave you guys what the structure of the tree looks like. All right, so this is kind of baffling that nobody could solve it in the exam. So, yeah, so uh, do pay attention to this video because you will be getting a multi-stage decision tree problem in your finals so um it's not going to be exactly this but it's going to be it's you're going to have to use um concepts that you know are quite similar okay so let me just read out the question we have abc incorporated is attempting to decide if it should introduce a new line of product the company can test market the product in selected areas oh i got a subscription Okay, the company can test market the product in selected areas or bypass the test market and introduce the product nationally. The cost of the test marketing is 75,000. The probability of a positive test market is expected to be 60%. If the product is a success, the company will make a profit of $800,000, while if the product fails, it will make a loss of $350,000. Uh, the company believes that the probability of success for a product uh, is 50% if it's introduced without a test market. If the product, sorry, if the company does conduct a test market and is positive, so if the result is positive, the probability of success increases to 80%. Alternatively, if the test market, sorry, if the test fails, the probability of success drops to 30% and the company will have to decide whether or not to launch the product at all. Use a decision tree to analyze the best course of action for the company. Okay, so uh, let's start off with the initial choice we have. So right now we have two choices. Uh, initially, we need to decide whether or not to conduct the test market, all right? So that's the first choice we have. So our first, we're going to start off with a decision node, which is the square one at the beginning. And our two choices are either to conduct the test market or to continue without a test market, all right? So this is the first two choices. Now, if we conduct... Uh, if we launch a product without the test market, now as it's mentioned in the uh, red underlined part, uh, that the probability of success if the product is introduced without the test market is 50%, right? So that basically means that the probability of failure is 1 minus 0 0.5, which is also 50%. So it is equally likely to fail as it is to succeed. So if you launch the product, Without, uh, without conducting the test market, the probability of success is 0 0.5 and the probability of failure is also 0 0.5. Okay. So, but if you actually conduct a test market, then you have two different possibilities. You can either get a positive uh, outcome or a negative outcome. Now, the, pro the as it is mentioned in the question, that the probability of a positive outcome is 60% the probability of a negative outcome is actually going to be 40%, right? So uh, we have two different outcomes. Now, uh, as mentioned in the question, right, if you get a positive outcome, then the probability of the pro product becoming a success is 80%. So that instantly means that the probability of the product becoming a failure is going to be 20%. Now, if the test market is a failure, right? If, I mean, sorry, if the test market has a negative result. In that case, <clears throat> you can actually make a choice whether or not to launch the product at all, right? So the choice you now have is going to be whether to launch the product despite having a negative result or to abandon the product. So these are the two choices you have. And these don't have probabilities associated with them because it is a choice that you can make. Since uh, the node representing this particular choice is a decision node and not a chance node as you can see it is rectangular and not circular all right so uh, now since we can actually make a choice whether to launch the product or abandon the product now if we launch the product despite getting a negative result in the test market we have we only have a 30 percent chance of success and that means we have a 70 percent chance of the product becoming a failure okay so this basically is the structure uh, of the decision tree that is going to help us decide what is the best course of action for us. Now, once we have this, now let's start solving uh, for the um, the expected monetary values for each of the nodes. Now, uh, let's start off with the far right hand side, all right? So if we 
test market the product, get a negative result, launch the product anyways, and then if it is a success, right, then we make a profit of $800,000, but it also costs us $75,000 to conduct a test market, and which we did. So our net profit is going to be $725,000, which is $800,000 minus $75,000. So the expected um, value of launching the product, despite getting a negative result in the test, and being a success is $725,000, okay? Now, similarly, if we get if the product is a failure uh, after getting a negative result in the test, then we make a loss of three hundred thousand, uh, three hundred fifty thousand. Plus, we also it also go, is going to cost us seventy five thousand for the test market. So our total loss is going to be three hundred fifty thousand. Sorry, minus three hundred fifty thousand minus seventy five thousand, which is a loss of a total loss of four hundred and twenty five thousand. Okay, so now let's calculate the expected monetary value for that node right here. So the expected monetary value of launching the product despite getting a negative result in the test is going to be given by uh, 725,000 times the probability of that happening, which is 30%, plus plus negative 425,000 times the probability of that happening, which is 70%. So that's going to give us a total of negative 80,000. So the uh, expected monetary value of launching the product despite getting a negative result in the test is minus 80,000, okay? So now let's look at the uh, expected monetary value of abandoning if we get a negative result. That's simply 75,000, which is the cost of the test market, as mentioned in the question, uh, which is marked with, with the red underline. Now let's look at the uh, choice here. So in this particular decision node, we basically have to make a choice of whether to make a loss, expected loss of 80,000 or expected loss of 75,000. Obviously, a lower loss is preferred. So we go, we're going to pick abandon in this case. So if we get a negative result in the test, it is better for us to abandon. Okay, so that's one of the decisions that the tree has indicated. Next, <clears throat> let's look at this particular note. So if we launch, if we conduct a test market, get a positive result, and the product becomes a success, then we make a profit of 725,000 as, as before, right? Uh, similarly, if we launch the product, so if, if we conduct a test market, get a positive result, but despite getting a positive result, uh, the product fails, then we make a loss of 425,000. But in this particular case, since the probability of success is 80% and the failure is only 20%, the expected monetary value of this particular node is going to be uh, 725,000 times 0 0.8, minus 425,000 times 0 0.2, which is a positive $495,000. So this is the expected monetary value here. Now, let's calculate the expected monetary value of conducting the test market, which is going to be given by 495,000 times 60%, minus 75,000 times 40%. So th these uh, percentages, these uh, expected monetary values are, are taken from the corresponding nodes with the probabilities uh, given for the positive and the negative outcomes. So the expected monetary value of conducting the test market is now going to be 267,000. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the, the expected monetary values when we do not conduct the test market. So if we do not conduct the test market, the probability of success now is only 50%, right? So, uh, but since we did not conduct the test market, we do not have to spend the cost of the test market, which is 75,000. So we, if we make, if the product is a success, we make a net profit of 800,000. Similarly, if the product is a failure, we make a net loss of 350,000, and we do not have to incur additional loss of, additional cost of 75,000. So it's just going to be 350,000. So the expected monetary value of launching the product without the test market is now going to be 225,000 which is going which is calculated by multiplying 800,000 by 0 0.5 minus 350,000 times 0 0.5 as well so out of these two which one is sorry this is not this it's supposed to be positive it's not supposed to be negative 225 it's actually positive so yeah i kind of made a mistake there so just ignore that all right so out of the two uh, options we have, we have a profit of 267,000 if we conduct a test market and an expected profit of 225,000 if we conduct, if we launch the product without the test market.
So out of these two, obviously 267,000 is uh, a more favorable outcome, right? So in this case, we pick uh, the upper decision, which is we pick the upper option or the uh, conducting the test market because that gives us a better expected monetary value. Therefore, that is our answer. All right. So in this particular case, we actually it is best for us to conduct a test market. Okay. And if we get a negative result, we abandon the project instead of launching it anyways. All right. So this is the uh, the best course of action for the company. All right. So if, I hope you guys understood this. If you have any questions, um, just post them in the comments.